I was brought up by family vloggers and it ruined my life. I, 17 female, was brought up by parents who family vlogged. They started vlogging when I was around 7 and stopped 3 years ago. I want to hugely avoid speculation as to who my family is, so I won't be sharing much more detail. The channel had over 500,000 subscribers. My parents finally stopped when there was a mental health crisis in my family as a result of the channel. This was never shared online. If you are a family vlogger or considering it, please read this and consider my perspective. I've wanted to share for a while but didn't know how to. I loved it for a while. I loved being center of attention while the camera was on and I loved getting more toys. I stopped loving it when I realized the only time I got attention was when the camera was on and the only time I got toys was when I performed in a way I was meant to. I'm going to list some stuff that happened and how it affected us. My siblings and I were so paranoid there was a camera on us that the only place we felt comfortable changing was in the bathroom with the lights off. I couldn't talk to my mom about anything when my mental health began to get bad because I was too scared she would share it online. If I had asked her not to do it, it wouldn't have made a difference. I now barely have a relationship with my mom. My mom considered homeschooling us so that she'd have more time to make content during the day. My best friend's mom said that she didn't want my friend to be my friend anymore because my mom kept filming her without permission. My mom didn't care how upset I was. I didn't have a single private moment. My mom woke me up with the camera on and she often filmed right until we went to sleep. She filmed us in the bath and although she tried to get it off the internet, it's downloaded and online forever. She shared when I got my period even though I told her I didn't want her to. Someone attempted to kidnap my sister and found it easy because they knew her full name, address, school, and details about her. My sister didn't know he was a stranger because he knew so much about her. And there's obviously a lot more. Am I the asshole for silently getting up and walking out of the restaurant during New Year's Eve dinner after I was told to pay for everyone at the table, aka my in-laws? I, female 32, recently inherited a good amount of money from my mom. I keep the money in a separate account as I still haven't decided what to do with it and don't want it to go to waste. I notice my husband constantly bringing up the inheritance money and making countless suggestions as to what I should do with it. Another thing is that he expects me to pay for nearly everything for the past couple of weeks. For New Year's Eve, my husband and I met up with his family at a restaurant and it was going fine until I found out I was supposed to pay for everyone. Am I the asshole for leaving New Year's Eve dinner after I found out I was supposed to pay for everyone at the table, aka my in-laws? My husband's mom joked about paying for dinner out of my inheritance pocket which made me livid but I showed no reaction. Instead, I silently paid for my own food and drinks, then got up and made my way out of the restaurant. They were shouting after me like a crowd and my husband tried to get me to come back but I drove home. He got back at 3am yelling at me saying I was pathetic to get up and walk out on him and his family. And that they relied on me paying for their food. Because you know, they thought I was gracious enough to do it. And they think this is revenge for when they couldn't help my sick mom. Am I the asshole for not defending my boyfriend when my brother asked him to leave? My 28 female boyfriend, 27 male Ryan, likes to help others. He's the type of guy who would give a coworker money for rent or groceries, but he can take it too far sometimes. He often tries to help people without asking if they actually want or need his help. Every year, my brother Paul and his wife Lily host a holiday dinner and this year Ryan was coming. I told Ryan that Lily was legally blind and had been her entire life. So I told him to only help Lily if she herself asked for the help. We arrived early to help cook and Ryan kept telling Lily things like, Lily, if you're looking for the salt, it's to your right. Am I the asshole for not defending my boyfriend when my brother asked him to leave? She pulled out a knife to cut veggies and Ryan asked if he could take over because he didn't want her to hurt herself. Lily said she'd be fine but Ryan insisted and finally Paul got annoyed and told Ryan to stop but he kept hovering. I asked him to sit down and also reminded him of what I said earlier, but everything boiled over at dinner. My nieces 5 and 3 have a game they play with their mom where they hand her something and she guesses what it is. And sometimes she makes outrageous guesses just to make them laugh. But Ryan started loudly telling the kids what the items were. Paul demanded that Ryan leave and Ryan insisted he was only trying to be helpful, but Lily said it was probably best if we left. My daughter made me cry for the first time in my life. I, 28 female, have a 13-year-old daughter. I had her when I was 15 after I was raped by someone who I thought was my friend. My daughter doesn't know this and I decided not to tell her. Keep it in mind. Well, I also have a sister, 35 female. She's honestly the best sister I could ever ask for. Now for an explanation. I was picking my daughter up from school and she seemed like she was in a bad mood so I wanted to do something that would cheer her up. I asked her if she wanted to go to the mall or go out to the Chinese restaurant she loves. 
She told me no because my sister had promised to take her to the movies, so I told her I'd drive her to the movies. She then told me no again and to drop her off at my sister's house, so I agreed. Three hours later, she came home and was happier now. I asked if the movies were fun, but she just ignored me and went to her room instead. I thought this was weird because she normally always tells me how fun the movies are or whenever she goes somewhere with my sister. So I called her down for dinner and she came down and walked right past me to grab her jacket and shoes. Obviously confused, I asked her where she was going. She said she was going to get Mexican food with my sister. I told her I had already made dinner and she got mad at me and told me to leave her alone because she didn't want to eat something a dirty slut made. I asked her what she meant by that and she said I was gross for losing my virginity at such a young age and that she was grossed out even looking at me. She called me a disgusting whore and slammed the door and left. This honestly broke my heart since I had gone to therapy for so long and to try and cope with what happened. But as a result, my own daughter basically slut shamed me for having my innocence taken away. I honestly just lost my appetite and just went to my room. I have been crying ever since and my heart honestly just completely feels sad. I think my sister told her because I plan on telling her until she was older. I feel betrayed and hurt and don't know what to do. She knocked on my room door but I didn't open it. I mean, how do I even approach this? Story time about how I lost my virginity to my sister's boyfriend. Disclaimers is not my story time. I said on Instagram. Please give me a chance before you judge me. I'm 23 years old and I've never been kissed. Don't get me wrong. I have been chased by boys pretty much my whole entire life since I was a kid. But my sister and I have really, really strict parents. My sister is older than me. She's 25. But for some reason, my dad is way more strict with me. My sister and I are beautiful girls. My dad's always told me that I'm too pretty for my own good. When I was a teenager. I really didn't understand that. But judging by the amount of guys that are always trying to hook up with me, I understand him my mom is a little bit more lenient she would allow my sister and i to go out on the weekends without my dad knowing honestly this has caused me to be afraid of guys anytime a guy approaches me no matter how cute he is I become painfully shy and i'm actually scared of them i assume that they're only going to try to take advantage of me because that's all i've ever heard from my dad well the plan backfired on my father because as soon as i became comfortable with a man i lost my v card to him and unfortunately it was my sister's boyfriend now my sister met this guy six months ago he came over to our house and begged my father to let him date my sister and he's really hot Part 2 is up. Story time about how I lost my virginity to my sister's boyfriend. Disclaimer is not my story time. It's on me on Instagram. That's when my sister's boyfriend begged my father to let him date my sister. Because my dad is so strict, he actually took this guy to the police station and asked the police officers if he had a record. Luckily, he was totally clean. It took a couple of weeks for my dad to accept this guy. Eventually, when my father approved of him, he started coming over to our house and obviously I was interacting a lot with him. My sister was really excited to have a boyfriend and I was really excited for her to have a boyfriend. Now it was my turn. I asked my dad if I could start dating and he said absolutely. Absolutely not. Mind you, I'm 23 years old and I've never even been kissed. This is where I start feeling like shit. Because my sister loves me, she started inviting me to some of her dates with her boyfriend. And I would tag along because I was bored at home. And slowly but surely, I started having a crush on her boyfriend. He was the kind of guy that I would want to date. He was extremely handsome, already had a full thriving career, went to a great school, had a great sense of humor, and was just fun to be around. I started having dreams about him. And I started thinking about him all the time. And every time he would come over to our house, I got butterflies. I was falling for him. Part three is up story time about how i lost my virginity to my sister's boyfriend disclaimer is not my story time on instagram that's when i started having dreams about my sister's boyfriend and not just any dreams like you know what i mean i was having night sweats it got to the point that anytime he would give me a hug to say hello, I would just hold on really tight. This is when he started noticing that I was getting feelings for him. Anytime he would look my way, I was already looking at him. And then slowly, he started looking at me. And here's the plot twist. My sister met another guy. She came home from a party one night and told me that she made out with some random guy. Apparently, this guy was like the man of her dreams. So she just decided to start cheating on her boyfriend. So I knew it was time for me to swoop in. I went over to his place and told him that my sister was cheating on him. I know, I'm terrible, right? That's when we started kissing and we did it. It. and it was magical it was everything i ever expected i mean it hurt but it was good we actually ended up doing it all night the next day my sister tells me she regrets cheating on him and that she wants to be with him neither him or i have the heart to tell my sister what we did so confused i do want him but of course my sister's feelings come first i'm stuck here what should i do am i wrong for singing a song to my wife at our wedding and making her angry I just got married last week. My wife and I are both in our 30s. I am Mexican, she is American, but we both grew up in the US and both of our families know both languages. My wife planned every bit of the wedding and was very controlling and a nervous bride. But alright, I get that she was stressed. During the reception, I went to the band and asked them to play a song for me to sing to my new wife. It was Te Amare by Miguel Bosé. It was a song from our first date in a really bad Mexican restaurant, so it became a long standing joke between us. The guest really loved the song. My mother-in-law cried and told me it was beautiful, but my bride seemed upset. I asked her what was wrong and she said that I'm an asshole for taking the spotlight to enforce my ethnicity and not just let the band sing our song for us. So, am I the asshole?
ridiculous, right? Which bride would be mad at her groom for singing her a song like that? This story was actually taken directly from my Reddit recap as the one submission I kept coming back to this year. Reddit recap includes the summary of the time you spent on Reddit, the content you most engaged with, and the top communities you viewed or joined. Download the Reddit app today and check out your Reddit recap and let me know what posts you kept coming back to so that I can share it.